all poisons and save innocent life. Hi, I am Durkar Nehmanli. Today we talk about Oil and Gas Development Company Limited OGDCL. First, I introduce about them. This, this campus that I am going to discuss was located in Tehsil Jan, District Katak, North Punjab in Pakistan. This campus was established in 1918 and is still working last 14 years. The main purpose of OGDCL is ablation to oil, gas, sulfur, diesel and crowd. The uh, vision of OGDCL, OGDCL is to become multinational exploration and production company. The mission of OGDCL is to, uh, is to become providing uh, multinational oil and gas uh, to the country by increasing uh, explorations and production both domestically and internationally utilizing both options including strategic elements. The unethical behavior of OGDCL is to, in, is to is releasing unethical and poisonous chemical and gas. These uh, poisonous chemicals and gas affect women and um, perflect different diseases like uh, skin cancer and uh, eyes weakness and uh, asthmatical. These, um, these uh, unethical practice of uh, OGDCL also affect the human life. The toxic water that um, human, uh, that OGDCL release, um, that, uh, that animal drink and die are suffered hysteria. The land and crops also uh, suffered against the unethical practice of OGDCL. The crop did not grow com better than compared to other land that do not affected the chemical and gas. Many of the land are added due to gas and chemical. Air is a natural gift, but the people of this area have not the faculty to uh, breathe in the fresh air. My name is Asim Akram and I will be talking about the diseases caused by the practices of OGDCL. Starting off with asthma. Asthma is caused as a result of gases and smoke released by the company that can make asthma symptoms worse and trigger attacks. Small particles in the air are released during the production or drilling of oil and gas. They can pass through our nose or mouth and get into our lungs that can make a person struggle to breathe. Other one is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, particular material from fossil fuel consumption during production process in company can cause inflammation in lung and further reduce the pulmonary function in COPD patients. Psychological problems are also caused due to the release of pollutants during the production. High levels of methane released by the company can reduce the amount of oxygen breathed from the air. This can result in mood changes, anxiety, memory loss, depression and headache. There is increased risk of skin cancer as exposure of skin to pollutants released by OGDCL which have been associated with skin aging and inflammatory or allergic skin conditions such as dermatitis or skin acne. Eye infections are also caused due to the release of gases from OGDCL such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and dust particles released by the company as smoke. These have led a number of people complaining of red and watery eyes and various eye allergies. There is increased risk of neurodevelopment disorder as exposure to air pollutants and specifically the greenhouse gases released by the company may provoke susceptibility to neurodevelopment disorders such as epilepsy. My name is Mohsin, as my fellow said that I discussed the problem about sea pollution caused by OGDCL. Uh, first of all, oil which is the lifeblood of the industrialized nation has become the world's most important source of energy, supplying energy to power industry, heat homes and provides fuel for vehicles and aeroplanes to carry goods and peoples all over the world. So besides this tremendous use all over the globe, it bestows enough harm to ocean lives. It can also be occurred in lands but uh, oceans are its major uh, tragedy place. So now let's talk about their consequences, oil destroys the insulated ability of your uh, bearing mammals such as sea turtles and the water repelling abilities of, of birds feed rings exposing them to to the harsh element many birds and animals also swallow oil 
and uh, are poisoned when they are tried to clean themselves or when eating oil uh, prey so if, uh, fish and shelf fish can also digest oil which can um, cause uh, changing in reprodu reproductions growth rate or even death so we are uh, very much familiar to of the gas uses of the gas they fulfill every basic needs of us even we owe, uh, owe our life to the gases no one is unaware of role of oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen in our lives now let's take a next step every second breath of oxygen that we take comes from oxygen is produced by life in the oceans the main things uh, encounter this uh, this gas oppositely is greenhouse gases uh, which are used by uh, houses so yeah, a, rep a report published uh, recently by the world metrology organization revealed that more than 90 percent of the energy trapped by uh, greenhouse gases goes into the oceans so that uh, these are the consequences hi my name is mohammed kumel uh, today my topic is uh, air pollution caused by ogdcl the oil and gas industry pollutes the air with the different gases that uh, threaten human uh, human health like uh, as uh, uh, nitric oxide and nitric dioxide which creates uh, sunlight and produce uh, smog which uh, which is uh, dangerous to human health for example when oil is burned for electricity uh, suffer it is suffer uh, dioxide mercury compounds uh, and nitrogen oxide plus hello my name is osama jameel and as my friends have spoken before the problems uh, that are uh, causing so much problems for the people and it is my advice to the ogdcl company that they need to improve their ethical standard such as they need to build some underground water system so that the water chemical water will go in that system and will not affect the uh, seas and rivers that are going by and it will affect the animals and the people that live nearby and they need to give some type of fertilizer to the farmer to improve their land as you have seen in the video the condition of the farm is very uh, poor and they need to improve this the OGDCL company uh, need to uh, help people in their health problems and they need to uh, reduce the air pollution that is affecting so many lives and uh, they need to uh, make some kind of surprise and some kind of uh, system that will reduce the air pollution so they need to plant some trees nearby in the local area so that will reduce the air pollution that is causing the global warming all over the pakistan and in near city so they need to uh, improve their ethical standards and ethical values so that they can save thousands of lives 